हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड इंग्लिश लिटरेचर ऑनलाइन क्लास सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर शू मेकर द शू मेकर रिटन बाय चार्ल्स डिकन्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद दैट सेम सो बिफोर आई कंटिन्यू लेट मी रिकलेक्ट व्हाट वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस इन दिस स्टोरी वी फाइंड द शू मेकर सफरिंग फ्रॉम फॉरगेटफुलनेस ड्यू टू हिज लॉन्ग एटीन ईयर्स पेंट इन द प्रिजन and monsieur defarge and mr lorry they were at present in the garret before the shoemaker they were trying to bring back the shoemaker's memories now monsieur defarge had introduced mr lorry as an expert in the shoes and he had asked the shoemaker to give his shoe to monsieur uh, to mr lorry and mr lorry had asked him about the shoe and the maker's name so let us see what happens next I said couldn't you describe the kind of shoe for monsieur's information so defarge asked to describe the shoe for monsieur lorry's information it's a lady shoe it is a young lady's walking shoe it is in the present mode i never saw the mode i have had a pattern in my hand he glanced at the shoe with some little passing touch of pride so the shoe maker answered to the question and told that it is a lady shoe and it is in the present fashion and he had never known about the fashion never saw about the fashion but he had a pattern in his hand and he had made the shoe with that pattern and he looked at the shoe with a sense of pride and the maker's name said defarge so defarge asked the maker's name to the shoe maker now that he had no wart to hold he laid the knuckles of the right hand in the hollow of the left and then the knuckles of the left hand in the hollow of the right and then passed a hand across his beard chin and so on in regular changes without a moment's intermission so the shoe maker was very confused to this question he don't know what to answer and he was making different kind of gestures knuckles means the joints of the fingers where you can feel the bones so he try he started passing the knuckles of the right hand to the palm of his left hand and then the knuckles of his left hand to the palm of his right hand and he continuously did it uh, because he he do, he don't know what to answer to the question the task of recalling him from the vagrancy into which he always sank when he had spoken was like recalling some very weak person from a swoon or indivering in the hope of some disclosure to stay the spirit of a fast dying man so the task of recalling that means to make him remember something about his past was just like um, bringing back uh bringing back a very weak or dying person from his faint state that means the swoon state faint state and um, asking him to remember or to speak up or to disclose uh, just to revive back or to just to get back the spirit or energy of a fast dying man it was just like that as if he was faint or he was about to die and he has been asked to recollect or remember about his past so that was the condition of the shoemaker did you ask me for my name so he repeated the question that did you ask me in my name assuredly i did so they said that surely i did i did ask your name 105 north tower so that was the answer to the question he had told them that his name is 105 north tower so that was the prison's number where he had stayed for long 18 years he could remember only that but not his name is that all so that was the question of monsieur defarge 105 north tower with a very sound that was not a shy nor a groan he bent to work again until the silence was again broken so with a very sound his sound was very sad and it was not a shy it was not a, a deep breath long deep breath or a groan but he bent to work that means he again started to find his own work and he, uh, until uh, they repeated the question and the silence was again broken his haggard eyes turned to defarge his haggard means his weary eyes they turned to defarge as if he would be 
as if he would have transferred the question to him as if he is asking the same question that what is my name i don't know you tell the name to mr lorry so he turned his eyes towards defarge because he was feeling helpless to tell the um, answer that means what what actually is his name he don't know he can't remember so it was he was feeling quite helpless but as no help came from that quarter that means defarge didn't assist him to tell his name so they turned back on the questioner that means his eyes turned back on the questioner on the questioner means here mr lorry when they had sought the ground that means ultimately they have found some answers to give i am not a shoemaker by trade so he he gave the answer that i am not actually a shoemaker my business is not a shoemaker makers no i was not a shoemaker by trade i was never a shoemaker by trade or by business i i learned it here so he thought he was still in the prison and he has been asked some question by the jailers so he said that i learned the art of making shoe here in the prison i taught myself i asked leave to so he said that i have taught myself how to make a shoe and i asked leave to then he couldn't complete his sentence he lapsed away even for minutes ringing those measured changes on his hands the whole time so he again lapsed into forgetfulness he again went back into that state of forgetfulness for few minutes he was ringing those measured changes on his hands the whole time that means he continuously continuously uh, changed his knuckles from uh, from one hand to the other hand that means he did the same he repeated the same action while he forgot what he was speaking his eyes came slowly back at last to the face from which they had wandered so again he stared or he looked at the person who had asked him the question when they rested on it when his eyes rested on them he started he again started speaking and resumed he continued in the manner of a sleeper that moment awake as if he was in the state of sleep and he had awakened just at that moment reverting to the subject of last night as if he again went back to the subject of uh, last night that means what he had spoken last night before sleep as if he had again gone back to that subject he was speaking about last night so he he told he answered i asked leave to teach myself and i got it with much difficulty after a long time and i have made shoes ever since so he told that i asked to leave myself that means i asked them not to teach me but i have taught it to myself after much difficulty and since then i have been making shoes as he held out his hand for the shoes that had been taken from him mr lorry said still looking steadfastly in his eyes sorry in his face monsieur manet do you remember nothing of me so mr lorry was holding the shoes and the shoemaker held out his hand to take the shoes from mr lorry and mr lorry was looking firmly at his face in his face and he told that monsieur manet that was his actual name the name of the shoemaker he told that do you not remember any anything about me the shoe dropped to the ground the shoe fell on the ground and he sat looking fixedly at the questioner and the shoemaker eyes were fixed at the questioner monsieur manet he repeated he repeated the name monsieur manet mr lorry laid his hand upon defard's arm so mr lorry laid his hand upon defard's arm do you remember nothing of this man so he told to the shoemaker that monsieur manet don't you remember anything about this man look at him look at me so he was trying the shoemaker to recollect his memories to remember about them they were the friends of monsieur manet long back and he was trying to make the shoemaker remember about his past about them so look at him look at me is there no old banker 
no old business, no old servant, no old time rising in your mind, Monsha Manet. So nothing is coming back to your mind from your memory. That was the question of Mr. Lori to, to Monsha Manet, to the shoemaker. So here I end today. So I have a set of questions for you. Go through the questions. These are all related to the part till where I have explained today. And write down the answers in your notebook. So here I end. Thank you children.